it performed sterling work in the Vietnam War and set a world absolute speed record. It's the F-100 Super Sabre of 1953. The Super Sabre was the first US Air Force fighter capable of supersonic speed in level flight. It marked a radical step forward in design for North America's first generation jet fighter, the F-86 Sabre. First entering service with the US Air Force in November 1953, it had a 45 degree swept wing, an under fuselage speed brake, four 20mm cannon and ranging radar in the upper lip of its oval nose intake, designated the F-100, the first of the US Air Force's Century Series fighters. It was definitely an exciting aircraft. The F-100A showed a fatal tendency to lose stability and was briefly grounded in 1955 after a series of crashes. The problem was resolved by increasing the thin area of the succeeding F-100C fighter bomber, an aircraft which on the 20th of August 1955 established the first supersonic world absolute speed record at 822.135 miles per hour. Next came the F-100D, the principal production version equipped with an autopilot and adapted for in-flight refueling. During the Vietnam War, F-100s proved too heavy and insufficiently agile to make good air to a combat aircraft. So let's leave that to the F-4 Phantom. But they were used extensively for ground attack. The Super Sabre was the first US Air Force aircraft employed in the wild weasel role to detect and destroy the radar systems of enemy surface to air missiles. Now something that you may not know about their missions is it's clearly easier to destroy radar systems and missile platforms during construction. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case in the Vietnam War because the Soviets were building them and had workers on the ground. So of course the US Air Force couldn't just bomb them during construction, else it may have started World War III. Specifications Power plant, one sixteen thousand nine hundred and fifty pound thrust Pratt and Whitney J fifty seven P twenty one A turbojet engine. That was the F one hundred D. Wingspan, thirty eight feet nine and a half inches. Length, forty nine feet six inches. Gross weight. 34,832 pounds or 15,800 kilograms. Maximum cruising speed 1,435 kilometers an hour at 10,668 meters or 892 miles per hour at 35,000 feet. Range 1,500 miles at altitude with two external fuel tanks, accommodation one pilot. First flight, 25th of May 1953, YF-100A prototype, 24th of January 1956, F-100D.